Hey everyone, and welcome to Bourbon Bites, whiskey reviews with a retro gaming twist. Today we're going real retro because we have Jim Beam from 1976. So this is one of two decanters actually provided to me by viewers and friends of the show, Donnie and Diana. Um, you may know him as the Linux Cat. They sent me these two beautiful Jim Beam decanters um, to celebrate the 1976 Bicentennial. As you can see here, these were of Norman Rockwell covers from the Saturday Evening Post. They tell you a little bit more about the back, about you know how he was an American icon in advertising and marketing, especially with these covers that he did. He actually painted 320 covers for the publication, and I know he's also done a lot of art with whiskey brands. By the way, if you're interested in vintage bourbon and whiskey ads, check out my Instagram page, Bourbon Nostalgia. I'm posting all of these classic, really cool ads from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and I'm having a ton ton of fun researching it. So if that's something you're interested in, uh, go check it out. We also have a Facebook page for that too. So these decanters are 100 months old, which equates to about eight years old, a little bit older. Um, they are at 80 proof, so they are a little lower proof. However, I think it's such a cool opportunity to try vintage whiskey like this. I did a previous video of a 1970 Ezra Brooks. So if you missed it, I'll put a little info card here too, but you can check it out in the description after the show. I kind of want to make a series on these vintage whiskeys. So if you happen to have a vintage whiskey and you'd like to send it in for a review, I'd love to have a sample of it just to try it and give my thoughts on it. I think it kind of fits with the whole retro theme here very, very well. Now, what makes these even more interesting is these aren't actually like lead decanters like you see a lot of. These are actually glass. It's just a painted glass. So the whiskey inside should be pretty well preserved. So I have broken the tax strip here, but um, it was sealed when I received these. So I know for sure this is legit. So I don't know if you can see, but like I said, these are glass. It's just painted glass. So the whiskey inside is hopefully unaffected. So let's go ahead and pour it and see what 1976 Jim Beam really tasted like. And I am so glad to see that this whiskey is crystal clear. There's no cloudiness. Sometimes cloudiness is something you have to look for with an older whiskey, especially if it's potentially been contaminated, just whether it be age or air or whatever. This whiskey though looks really, really good. So on the nose, this one is really, really interesting. It's unlike any Jim Beam I have ever smelled before. And I think it's because it's really like ripe fruit and not necessarily the darker fruits you would get on bourbon today. To me, it's almost like, it's very pear, I would say. And I don't think I've ever gotten a pear note on a bourbon before. It almost goes a little apple crisp, but definitely has those baking spices. Um, cinnamon sugar even, but it's really, really bright and vibrant on the nose. So I'm curious to see how it tastes. So cheers to you, Donnie and Diana, and thank you so much for sending me these bottles. Cheers. On the palate, it keeps that cinnamon sugar. I don't get as much of the pear that I was getting on the nose, but it still has like a really bright fruit, like a, a, a baked pie, maybe like an apple pie, or even like a like a pear, like a baked pear pie. Definitely like super spiced. I mean, that cinnamon is so apparent, almost like even an allspice there too. But then it kind of goes graham crackery. I don't know if that's more of like a vintage, like it's either, it's, <laughs> it's weird, but it's either graham cracker or like a dusty book. It kind of, it's like a dusty graham cracker, if that makes sense. It definitely has a vintage feel to it and again this is only eight years old so it's not like it's coming from the age of the whiskey itself I think that's just the way whiskey was back then like I said in the Ezra Brooks video I think I got a very similar nose it's been a minute since I did that one but yeah it's a little dusty but not necessarily in the way that you would expect from a bourbon not too much oak even though this is an eight-year-old product I don't get too much oak on the palate however it does have it does show up a little bit on the finish the finish isn't super long but for an 80 proof whiskey it's definitely a pretty significant finish and I think that's where the oak definitely shows up it definitely gets that dustiness that I got on the end of the palate transforms into more of like a, an oaky finish on the whiskey I don't think I've had an 80 proof whiskey in recent years or at all that has been this balanced and this enjoyable of an experience I mean maybe I'm being a little bit influenced because it's almost 45 years old and it's just a really cool experience in that but I will say there is something really really special about this whiskey highly recommend these old decanters from Jim Beam I love that they're glass I love that the stuff inside is just as good as it probably was when it first came out so thank you all for watching if you're new here I would love if you could hit the subscribe button down below if you happen to want to support the show even further you could become a patron of the show all that info is down in the description below you can also keep up with us on our gaming and whiskey lounge discord server uh, just go to bourbonbites.com it'll redirect you to the server love to have you there we do hangouts we do some gaming it's a load of fun so hope to see you guys there and i hope to see you guys on a future video but until next time this has been bourbon bites whiskey reviews with a gaming twist i'm clifton and i'll see you all next video cheers